basically I'm making my first devlog. And today I'm going to be showing you the developments that led to the like first developments to now, I guess. And this is an Unreal Engine. Um, I apologize if this camera quality is bad, this mic quality is bad. And for the fact that I woke up this morning and I feel stone cold dead emotionally. So I don't know if I'll have the best reactions because I literally have no emotions right now, but I don't think that really matters. Anyways, let's get into the video and yeah. All right. I apologize in advance because you're gonna have to look at some sites that you'll probably want to bleed your eyes out after. But, you know, I just thought I might as well show it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I mean, basically I'm 3D modeling, right? And, yeah, right now, myself is okay. But when I first started using Blender, and this is, we're not even talking about when I actually first started it, but, like, when I first started trying to, like, model characters for Unreal Engine. Yeah, the stuff that I made is bad. So, let's see. Okay. So, we have a lot of files. Whatever. Oh, gosh. You're gonna see, um... I, I, again, uh, I apologize, because this is really, really cringe, okay? Like, literally, look at this. <laughs> I saw this last night, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not good. Like... If I were to be, like, making my game, and I had this in it, and, yeah, guess what? I did have a game with this mod on it, and guess what? It's horrible. Anyways, uh, let's go to the next one. <laughs> let's, let's just ignore that. Um, let's see. We have this one. This was the main character for the game. Again, it looks horrible. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, Let's see. Just look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, yeah, as you can see, this does not look good at all. Um. Oh, this is this is what happens when you don't use references, by the way. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Anyways, now we're going to be starting to get to better quality stuff. So it's open. Don't say that. Um. So this is what I have right now. Um. Let's see. As you can see, there's already like so many bones and whatnot. You know, the clothes are basic, but the actual character model is there. So, this is like five times better than whatever the hell I made. Like, let's see, let's see. Open? Don't say. So, it is September, okay, so basically somewhere in September, right, and if we were to go a bit, um, this was made in the 14th of August, so not even a month ago, my stuff looked like this. Like, not even a month ago, this, I made this. 
So, I have no idea how I improved so much. Like, I think the main thing that made me a lot better was I actually used references for my own, like, pictures and stuff, and I also watched a tutorial on, you know, just seeing how our people made their models and whatnot. But, you know, let's, let's go over that. So, this is also in our earlier model. Let's go over here. Um, this one is not too bad. It's just flawed in a bit of ways, I guess. It also has animations, so if I were to do that. Like, it, it looks okay, right? But the main thing that I... There's two main problems I had with this. So basically, um, if you actually look, the model is like decimated because there are so many vertices. And now, basically, if I wanted to actually edit it, it would be pretty hard. Also, if you look at the eyes, too, like, I don't know if you see, but the eyes are not really well made. It's just, just kind of slapped onto there. But, yeah. Anyways, I improved on that to actually look. Um, we'll have this. I use basically the same format as the last character. Basically, this character, I use the same, like, format, I guess. So let's open that here. Anyways, if we will look, yeah. This looks a lot better, and I even add like blinking to the eyes. Let's just look at that. Yeah, if you can see, it's basically basic, basic stuff, but yeah. My models are a lot better now. So that is really good, because if, again, let's look. If my models were as bad as, let's see. Um, if my models look like this, um, I'd be screwed, <laughs> to say the least. Anyways, we're done. I'm sorry if your eyes got, like, swagger, or you need... You need a bit of help after looking at this monstrosity, but... Um... Jeez! Look at this! Look at all the... You know, all the vertices. Like... That too. Like, I think the main thing that I also improved on was the vertice usage. Like, look, this, this has like half the vertices and it looks that much better. Anyways, I went on a bit long, but... We're done with the Blender models, and let's just go into the game. So, yep. Mm, yep. Alright, so we are at the current project that I have right now. And basically, it's just a lot of random things swapped onto it. Because this is my first devil log, okay? The next devlog I am planning on actually making you no know, level design and stuff, but I'm at the point where I literally just have managed to make a character that has like jumping and running and you no know, crouching, all that stuff. I got the basic controls for the character, so that's what I'm here to show. I mean, the next devlog is definitely gonna be a lot. It's it's gonna focus on the assets. I guess, but this is more focusing on the character. Anyways, let's just hop on and play. And you can see, here's my character. Um, the character model looks good, for the most part. Only complaint I really would have is that, um, in the front, it, it looks like it has no nose, right? I mean, I don't, I know that'll probably eventually be fixed. As time goes on, but here's the character walking, and you know, of course, it's not just the character walking. If I press R, the character will run, and the character can jump, and it can also jump and then flip, right? Here's the character if it would be without cell chain. 
because this game also has like shading for the characters because I think it looks a lot nicer or at least for what I want to have in terms of like art style and whatnot. So yeah, just what I have right now. Also, by the way, you can also press tab and your character will um be in a sort of like lock in place rotation, which is you know, I'm I, I like it. This is an add feature. Also, if you go into lock place and then you go backwards and you jump, you will backflip. So that is pretty cool. You can also double backflip. Only problems I really have is like if you like if you like spam backflips. I guess I could just add a add a delay, but that would also affect the physics and I mean it would be it would definitely be fixed like by the time the game's done. Also, yeah, if it isn't obvious the characters and whatnot, they are gonna be remade. I was the main character because like the character design is bad. Like I was in terms of like clothing because it's very very basic. So obviously, like yeah, this office is gonna be improved. Again, this is the first devlog. This is mainly the character so showcasing, and this is an example of obstacles. Um, this would probably be like on a higher difficulty if you get what I mean because not like I'm I'm a pretty advanced person when it comes to like 3D platforming I guess so I know that not everybody is going to be able to do this so it's going to be easier um, when I actually make the stuff on the normal intended difficulty right but yeah, this is what I have so far. There's also like moving staircases. Um, you can, there's a way to get on top of here. Like normally it would be really hard, but you can also dash at the end. So one, two, three, there we go. And yeah, this is basically it. Um, we can also look at the, you know, the, uh, there's also some dialogue plugins that I got because I think the one thing that I can't really do by myself is dialogue if you get what I mean. So let's look over here. If I go here, this will be it will like have an exclamation mark and if I press E, it would say certain stuff. This is a sign. And then if I go here to character, it will be like hi and then select home. Obviously, this character is going to be remade. I just kind of like slapped it onto there, but yeah. If I say hi, yay, so glad that you came here to see me. So excited, whatever. Right. Anyways, um, there's also a more advanced plugin that I got. Um, it basically looks like this. The character comes and says some stuff. There's also like voice acting that I can do and you know animations that can come with it and like cinematics. I just didn't set up yet, but I can say like okay. Then this would actually start a quest. Then I could just run to into some actors and just get some candy or whatnot. Or yeah. Okay, and then the quest is updated, and yep, I say I have candy, and then guess what, the quest is finished, and then, yeah, after that, um, after a while, this quest would, like, yeah, it would end up like disappearing like yeah the link to the plugins that i got will also be in, des in the description because i know those are really helpful because <coughs> i trust me i spent hours trying to find a dialogue tutorial 
for Unreal Engine 5, and I found nothing. At least for beginners. Yeah, you're not going to have much luck. So that's why I decided that. Like, there are certain things that I can learn, but the dialogue, it would be a lot better if I were to use a system that either provides better visuals, um, like this, or has mechanics such as quest systems that I can, like, save and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. We can also look at the new character models for just, just a screen and character, right? Just watching Link. Wow, so cool. And yeah, the back view looks cool. Um, the side view, it's okay. Front view, eh. Side view like this, that's cool. But yeah, as you can see, I do have a lot. From, from, from this, it's not really a lot, right? But you can see that there's, you know, a certain atmosphere that comes with the character design. And what the general, like, art style of the game would be. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think next. I mean, obviously there's also, like, music that I have for this game and stuff. It's just that I'm not going to like, be showing certain stuff of the game. Because it, it's not like a playthrough from, for the game. It's just, like, showcasing stuff. Because I... Because there's no use in, like, making a game and then, like, showing every single thing of the game when you actually make it, right? But, anyways, that's basically it. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, that's pretty much all I have. And, yep, see you in the next devlog. But, I'll also be doing tutorials on how to like 3d models since i actually know how to make decent 3d models and stuff so i mean look out for more content i guess it's just that it's been a long time there's a reason why i um chose to wait because i didn't want to like you know have the awful models that I made before and be like, oh, hey, this is my first step one. No, I want to wait and be like, hey, this is the stuff I'm making and I'm actually making progress. If you get what I mean. Anyways, that's basically it. Goodbye.